so perhaps one question that uh, our listeners may be uh, already asking in their mind is, isn't that that niche like really, really a small piece of the pie? And I mean, can I really make a business out of targeting just on, on this piece of it? Or, or is this, or is this market like, a bonus to your real estate investing business, other marketing channels? Phenomenal question. I guess it depends on the business you'd like to build. I love it when people say I'm in a small little niche. Uh, and I'll tell you the reason why. Seven out of 10 Americans over the age of 65 will live in some sort of assisted care before they pass away. Seven out of 10. So when people say that they love to work probate deals, I'm saying, I'm telling you right now, that is the little niche because that's the three out of 10 that maybe still had a house that made it, you know, uh, death is what happens when you have a probate deal, right? These are what I call the industry started calling what we do pre probate. So mom is moving into senior living. She's usually 28 months away, uh, from passing away. We can be blunt about that. That's, that's what the data shows. They're moving into senior living because they can't take care of themselves any longer. Right? So it's actually a giant, um, it's called the silver tsunami. So over the next 20 years, there's 21 million baby boomers that will be uh, going to long-term care, and they're going to be needing to sell their houses before they pass away. The small niche is actually the probate. The, the, the big section is, is the senior living world. And so um, I don't look at what I do as trendy or uh, a flash in the pan. I think we have a 20-year run here, Jay, of this will be a a constant lead source for the people that take it seriously and build the relationships right uh, the first time. As far as what the population is looking like and the baby boomers and all this and that is, is senior. Are, so these people that are going to be needing to sell their house uh, prior to going into assisted living, is this market, are you seeing this market growing and more people needing this type of service? Definitely. Um, I think what's happening right now with uh, the COVID world or the post COVID world is the type of senior living they're moving into might be changing from the big box communities to the smaller uh, residential assisted living communities. But the fact of the matter is, is once you're told by a doctor that mom or dad can't take care of themselves any longer, uh, they're going to be moving to a senior living community. So when you look at the charts, over how many communities are being built, you're like, wow, that's a whole lot of communities. But then you look at the need and it's way, it's even higher than that. There's this big gap. Um, we were just talking earlier today with someone about uh, Biden's plan to help seniors. His goal is to keep them in their houses as long as possible. The reason why for that, Jay, is because it's cheaper to pay someone to subsidize the care instead of having them go to on the Medicaid rolls at 24 hours a day. And so the silver tsunami, why, you know, we all know what a tsunami is, right? You don't see it coming and all of a sudden it's too late. That It's actually a tragic word. A tsunami is a bad thing, right? And it, it, it's over, it overtakes something. And so your listeners, I want them to know that don't, I, I heard somebody say this, you're going to work in senior living, whether you want to or not. So you might as well embrace it. And I love that line because it's coming and if we think about who our sellers are right now, it is usually seniors. So why not focus on that and systematize it to, to make this part of your business?